all right part three so y'all see how big these people are compared to them do y'all see that y'all see how big them people are and they'll tell us that these don't exist but i have books that are very very old that tell a different story um this is the thing um sacredtext.org if you go to the apocrypha and the book of enoch one is on there the book of adam and eve is on there all of these books the bush book of jasher the book of enoch um the book of noah who even knew it was a book of noah i didn't until about six years ago right so there are all of these books that we have been told that are lost right and it's because they prove that things like this are real this is why they say that those books are lost and hidden but i'm here to tell y'all they're not lost i'm also here to tell you that if you Google some of the names that I mentioned in the first video, literally giant people come up, right? What's really crazy is what they did um, in, in history in, in the last probably 2,000 years, 1,000 years, I don't know. They've changed the names of it so we don't know where to go look, right? But as you can see, these beings are huge. The humans that are on side of them could easily fit into their mouth. They could easily fit into their mouth. And a lot of people don't know that the whole, the main reason that the earth was flooded and if you don't believe me go check your bible go look at it you see in genesis 6 that the angels came down they had sex with the women they created giants and then the earth had to be flooded now that makes a lot more sense because god only needed 10 feet of water to flood or maybe 20 feet of water to drown out all the dang people that wouldn't have been hard you know even 100 feet of water would have drowned regular sized people but if you have people that are 450 feet tall or in between the the 50 or 100 feet and, and 400 feet tall yeah you're gonna need a lot of water because they can climb they can jump we don't know if they had the ability to fly like their fathers i mean but clearly it shows that the mythological guys some of them the the dude with the wings on his shoes and all of this old stuff you know of course they've made it kind of like a comic booky type whatever but in re in reality this is why the the earth was flooded these guys they started bestiality they started um, 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 cannibalism because their appetites were insatiable. Because they were half human and half um, um, angel, then there were certain things. It was like the DNA didn't mix. So it almost made like a rabbit dog in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Or you know how you make dogs too close and then they be crazy? That's basically what this created even though they had magical abilities these are the people that uh built the um pyramids and all of these massive um monolithic structures that we can't figure out how they built them and the machinery that they used they didn't use machinery they used their hands they didn't need to if something's 450 feet tall a big block like that won't be anything for them to move 